Hello, my name is Peter Johnson. I work as a solutions engineer for Tableau in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. And um, every now and then when I meet customers and so forth at events and stuff, I do a little demonstration. I showcase Tableau in a way and uh, get some, some good feedbacks on that. And a lot of people want to know uh, how I did that and, and see some uh, repetition of that demonstration. And it has a little bit to do with... Uh, the great uh, Hans Rosling, who uh, was a great scientist, a doctor, and uh, a great uh, speaker at uh, TED Talks events and things like that, and uh, how he presented in a way to make people understand how to make fact-based decisions and how to use data in a smart way to make people really understand what uh, what's going on. So uh, I usually ask my audience, do you read books? Because it's a really good thing to read books. And then when I show this one, most uh, hands go up in the air that people actually read this book. And one uh, funny thing is, when I read this book, I... Uh, I couldn't put it down. I uh, thought it was really amazing. And uh, right after I was done, I, I did uh, two things. First, I went in and, and Googled all the good TED Talks that he did where I wanted to see exactly how he presented those uh, uh, findings that he uh, described uh, very well in the book. And I also went straight from the links in that book to World Health Organization, WHO, and uh, downloaded some of those uh, data sets that... Uh, that Hans Rusling uh, had talked about. And these data sets are a little bit of uh, country-specific information for uh, global information around the world. Uh, some data around how many uh, children per woman uh, in different parts of the world uh, every family has uh, over a history of time. And also some life expectancy information and also regular uh, population data. And I put these... Uh, put this information together in, uh, in Tableau, Tableau Desktop. So, uh, looking at this information, the country data, some uh, historical information, and some of these uh, measures, what Hans did was that he put, quite frankly, the children per woman and uh, life expectancy on the same chart, and uh, visualized that per country. What he wanted to do is to showcase how the world is getting better, how some of these countries actually fare much better as the, the history goes on, they have fewer children, the economy is improving, and uh, life expectancy uh, and so forth goes up, and how this uh, all happens in, uh, in a smooth correlation. So uh, all these countries, uh, we're not looking at a complete uh, 316 children or the life expectancy of 3,000 years, because that would be through all years. We want to see this all in averages. Like that. I'm going to use my whole screen, but I may be able to change my axis a little bit here, because I may not need all of it for the presentation. And we also want to see how this uh, information goes up. So I'm going to reverse my axis here. So now I see some of these uh, uh, United States, uh, Malta, France, uh, European countries uh, uh, on the upper uh, right corner where all the countries are actually moving towards as they're improving their uh, overall situations in terms of uh, better life sustainability. So we see uh, that, and um, some of these countries are larger than the others, so we're using population as a measure just to show like how big, how some of these really, really big countries uh, develop uh, over time and move up towards the upper right corner. These countries are divided into uh, different regions. And you can bring down the opacity a little bit and use a border around those. And these countries have names. I put those on labels. And I can actually see over time, and I will actually see how they have been placed uh, for all times. But then when I put year on top of this as well, I can see how this has been uh, changing uh, also uh, over time. All good. I have that uh, to begin with. What he also did in his presentation, which I found was a remarkable good effect in, in understanding is to put the year in the center. And there are different ways of doing that. Uh, also with uh, Tableau, I'm going to choose one of the absolute simplest ways of doing that. So putting years as, uh, as a pager. And uh, going to hide this little guy. 
doing that with putting the coloring and uh, I have already formatted just my my page name to be as big as I can bold and everything and uh, very light uh, blue uh, coloring to to that and uh, I'm just using the pages uh, on the, on the flag of my screen and then I'm producing a, a dashboard based on that I'm taking my years first of all And taking my pages, dragging out to the to the right there for a second, using my floating objects, putting my scatter plot. I'm not going to need that, not for the demo at least. And uh, sizing it up like that, and making it transparent. Transparency come to play. I also gonna run a little bit with the new uh, animation feature point uh, point three is okay, and then I'm putting my player on top. Drag it up here, then I can hide this. And for the sake of the demonstration, I can use uh, a bigger part of, uh, of my screen. And uh, if I uh, put the speed to maximum and uh, not going to try to uh, replicate any of the, uh, the wordings uh, of uh, the great Hans Rufling, but what he did at this point in time was, of course, explaining what was going on on the screen. And he could, he could stop and pause and, and highlight certain countries and, and areas and explain what was going on, why certain countries were moving back and forth and, and how they're all moving up towards the upper right hand corners as their uh, uh, overall uh, situations and, and, uh, and sustainability improves. And I think it's a very nice and good use case of, uh, of working with Tableau where we could actually very easily see I have done something quite simple with the data because I understand the data. I knew what I wanted to do and I knew how I wanted to present it. I used no uh, no coding or no scripting or no parsing or anything like that. It was drag and drop. Uh, I, I changed the ledgers and uh, the, uh, the axis a little bit and the averages on, on my measures. But overall, it was done quite easily. And I think it's a very powerful method of uh, introducing a visualization object like this and uh, uh, sneaking a little bit of what uh, Hans Rusling did with his, uh, his presentations. A uh, colleague of mine, a great shout out to the great Paul Howey, who was one of the first uh, solutions engineers in the, uh, in the Tableau EMEA pre-sales team who introduced this, uh, this concept and data sets uh, to me uh, some time ago. So with that, I say thank you very much for uh, listening and taking a look at this.